Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key TV. Well, it's time once again, and it seems like a long time since I did the last installment of Wine of the Week, but here we are again on Sunday, Milano San Remo. 300 kilometers of gorgeous Italian countryside, starting in Milan in the interior of the country and finishing 180 plus miles on the coast. Um, Finding wine from this region is not that easy. And I remembered recently I was at the Gambero Rosso wine exhibition and uh, one of the wines I tasted there, Gambero Rosso is the name of the restaurant where the fox and the cat ate when they met Pinocchio by the way. Um, but Tre Bicchiere organizes a big wine exposition that travels the world and uh, the last time I was there I tried a, a couple of sparkling wines from Lombardia. So not a very well-known uh, growing area and not easy to find vineyards along the race route of Milano San Remo or even from the regions. So uh, I did find some and uh, this is the bottle. Contadi Castaldi is the producer. Francia Corta is, uh, is the sub-region and it's near the uh, shores of Lago Iseo, so not, not far from Milano, a little bit off the race close course, but it's as close as I could get this time. Um, Chardonnay and Pinot Noir grapes are used to make this, and uh, we shall give it a try. I love sparkling wine. You can't call it champagne anymore, unless it's from Champagne, or it's the Champagne of Beers. <laughs> uh, but for our purposes, a sparkling wine from Lombardia. So for the first half of Milano San Remo, and if, if you're watching this live uh, in the United States, you're gonna come quite early. So you might have to start drinking the night before <laughs> and finish up with a glass of uh, sparkling wine from Italy. That is very nice. Got some citrus in there. Nice chamomilla. Hint of almond is quite lovely. Uh, very nice. It's a um, not the driest of champagnes that I've ever had, excuse me, of sparkling wines, <laughs> but uh, this is a delicious little gem from an uncommon area. Uh, really refined acidity, especially for the price, which uh, was $26. So an everyday sparkling wine from Lombardia. I'm very pleasantly surprised with this, quite delicious. Well, they will be dancing in the streets if an Italian wins Milano San Remo this year. Uh, none of the favorites are from Italy, but you never know. In a bike race, you never can tell. Uh, and so, cheers, everybody watching Milano San Remo. And uh, have a great weekend, everybody. And here's to another wine of the week. Let me know what your favorite wines are. And maybe I can try to find them next week. Uh, there is a race called um, Criterium International that takes place on the island of Corsica. Uh, so I'm not sure if I <laughs> can find any Corsican wines. The Tour de France started there a couple years ago and the local wines were really delicious. So I will keep my eyes peeled for some Corsican wines. Maybe you have to order some. But thanks everybody for your comments, your subscriptions. If you like these wines of the week, thumbs up and see you on the bike path. Apparently when your ego is so pitiful, you have to cheat at master's bike races by using drugs. Uh, there is no limit to what you'll do to keep the gravy train rolling, uh, which is pretty pathetic. <laughs>